Hello, I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The minibus public transportation sector is once again crying foul over what it says is the discrimination by the authorities. Minibus operators are complaining that while the protocols have been relaxed for other sectors, they continue to be mandated by law to transport a restricted number of passengers. The minibus operators say the restricted passenger load is seriously hurting their operations. So we ask, should the restrictions on the number of passengers a minibus can transport be lifted? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 17% said yes, 66% said no, and 17% had no comment. We took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to see. Of course, give them the 15 passengers. We have to learn to live with COVID because at Massey, groceries every day rising up. Cost of living is very high. They have to buy gas, they have to buy tires, and come on, when you think about it, we have to live with COVID and just give them the 15 passengers and that's it. Yes, I feel they should do it because look, they extend the curfew to midnight. Give the bus drivers their 14 passengers. What to do? Make sure everybody who entered the bus must be sanitized and everybody must be wearing a mask. Because when you look at it, if they refuse to give them the 14 passengers, who knows, very soon they might ask for a raise. And to raise bus fares now, it will be a burden on the poor. So I feel just give them the 14 passengers. Yes, I believe the bus drivers should be given a break because the protocols are going down, the time is extended. Yes, they, they, these guys have been going through 10 passengers for a while. So, yeah, they, they should be given a break so they could do something for themselves. Yes, they should because, you know, they, they all pay insurance and all them things. And then you go mass, you go all them places, you always have a crowd. So why not the bus driver? Once everybody could have their, their mass and everything, they should have their full load. I think it's time that they given, be given that break, you know, because things are a bit tight and COVID is loosening. And the people are on the merry way right now. I think they should open up and give them that break that they need because they need to make that money to um, help the community. Uh, the, the fuel, at least, is a bit tight. It's costly. And they, they need to um, meet the cost so that they could help themselves, their families, and the like. So I think they should be given that break. It's an imperative, I think, right now. They should give a break because other people in, like, dairy, so dairy, they have a full break. So Viewford should have a, a break also. Yeah, school reopen and how much children need to go to school, so they should give them a break. I think they should, and they should even have a spike in the price. They should even raise, raise the, the bus fare to at least 50 cents more, because um, for a whole year these fellas have been struggling. I know the struggle, because I'm part of it too. So I mean, you should, they should really look into it. They should more, more than just the load, raise the bus fare to at least 50 cents more. I, I think that um, everyone should be given a break you know, across the board, but can government afford to give everybody a break? I think like it is not only the bus drivers, but many others have been suffering through the COVID, um, COVID pandemic. So I think um, I would say that even the drivers then too need to have a little respect for the, the passengers because they take more than they're supposed to take and they are still crying for more. I'm not saying that they don't deserve more, but I'm just saying like um, only if, it can, if the if government can afford it. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The government of St. Lucia, like many governments around the world, instituted protocols which restricted the movement and gathering of people in an effort to get the COVID-19 pandemic under control. There has been the suggestion coming out of this experience for the government of St. Lucia to institute a similar set of protocols to get the crime rate under control. So we ask... Do you support the establishment of COVID-19-like protocols to get crime under control? Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.